Welcome to Learners Planet my dear children. Children in the previous session we discussed about the functions of the skeletal system then cartilage and muscles. In this session in today's session we will continue this lesson with the skeletal system only and we will discuss about some joints and some important points about the skeletal system. So let us start with this session children. Yes, first of all we should know that what is meant by a joint. Children as you know that a joint is the place where two bones meet, right? And most of the joints are movable. As you know that joints occur where two bones meet. They make up the skeleton flexible and without them the movement our movement would be impossible. Even muscles are also necessary for movement because they are the masses of tough elastic tissue that pull our bones when we move. Right? So there are some joints which move and there are some joints which do not move. Right? There are some joints like fixed joints which don't move at all and our skull has some of these joints which close up the bones of the skull. Right? So these are the fixed joints. There are some joints which always move and they are known as the movable joints. They are the one that let us ride our, uh, ride our cycle, bicycle. They let us to eat. They play, they let us to play anything. The ones that allow us to twist, bend, bend and move the different parts of our body. So these are some of the moving joints or the movable joints. Right? So mainly the movable joints are very much helpful to us in moving our body parts, the different body parts. Right? So there are some movable joints like the ones which are present in our spine or the backbone which moves only a little. There are other joints also which move a lot. Right? And based on this moving of the joints, there are four kinds of movable joints which are present in our body. Like ball and socket joint, hinge joint, pivot joint and gliding joint. Right? So let us study about each of the joint in detail. So we will start with the ball and socket joint. As you can see here in this picture, this is a type of joint which allows movement in many directions. Like we can find these joints at our shoulders and hips. You can see in this picture, this is a picture of one such joint. This is a picture of a hip joint. Right? They are made up of a round end of one bone fitting into a small cup like area of another bone. Can you see here? This is a round bone. Right? And its end is fitting into this another bone. Another bone is the cup like bone. Right? So this round bone fits into the small cup like area of another bone and helps to move in many direction. Like right and that is why it is termed as the ball and socket joint ball means this is a round cover which acts like a boil and it fits into a small cup like area which acts as a socket so this small cup like area acts as a socket and this round structure acts like a ball right it lets us to bend and straighten our arms and legs and that is why we can say that these joints are ball and socket joints. Right? And these joints are very much helpful to us. Now another kind of joint is the hinge joint is actually very much helpful to straighten our, our arms and legs. And the bone, the joint which we studied, the first joint which we studied that is a ball and socket, they are very much helpful in shoulders and hips, not the arms and legs. The one, the joint which is very much helpful in straightening our arms and legs is the hinge joint, one of the main types of the moving joints, right? Our elbows and knees each have hinge joints. As you can see here in this picture, it moves like in this direction right in a circular way 
right and that is why we are able to move our elbow and knees which let us bend and straighten our arms and legs right so how do these joints act as yes these joints act like the hinges on a door you can see here in this picture right you can just think and you can even try to experiment this just try to open and close the door and you can see the hinges on the door will be able to move right so you can just imagine your joint also as a movable joint like the hinges on the door just as most doors can only open one way we can only bend our arms and leg in one direction not in all the direction so we also have many smaller hinge joints like they are present in our fingers and toes and also the bones in the knee elbow fingers and toes have hinge joint right so this is all about hinge joint let us move on to another type of joint and study about it yes pivot joint this type of joint is found between the first two vertebrae or backbone right so this is one such type of joint which is found between the first two vertebrae of our backbone and it allows us to move our head up down and also in sideways so you can just see here this is a pivot joint and how it takes place how it functions you can just see the arrow you can just follow these arrows and you can imagine that how it rotates right just as like our pivot joint which is present in between the first two vertebrae of our backbone this is our backbone this is our neck this is the skull this is the spinal cord right and this joint is present between this thing right so it allows us to move our head up down and sideways right now another type of joint is the gliding joint this type of joint is found in the bones of the wrist and the ankle right it allows these bones to slide against each other as you can see here in this picture this dotted line shows the form this dotted line shows the former position of our joint sorry former position of the bone and after some time you can see that the this bone is sliding and giving a motion a gliding motion so this bone has moved somewhat ahead and this type of joint which moves the bones ahead is a gliding joint because it gives the bones a slide it gives the more uh, these these bones a motion which is a gliding motion and that is why we are able to move ourselves right so what is the function of the gliding joint actually the main function of our gliding joint is actually that it allows these bones to slide against each other in a gliding motion and this is one such picture of a of an ankle joint in the same way gliding joint is also present in the wrist joint right okay so i hope this is clear to you this all type of joint types of joints are clear to you you will be very amazed to know that each bone in our body has got a name like the smallest bone in our body is in the ear which we discuss it is called the stirrup bone s t i r r r u p and it is also we we can also consider as small so small as a rice grain right it is as small as a rice grain and it is termed as stirrup bone right so these are some of the joints which we discussed right let us now move on to another topic yes these are some important points to remember about our bones right our bones help us out every day to make us to make sure that we so we should make sure that we should take care of them right so here are some of the tips which we should keep in mind strengthen your skeleton by drinking milk and eating other dairy products like low fat cheese or yogurt because dairy products contain calcium which helps bones harden and become strong so always remember if your mother is telling you to drink milk every day then you should always obey her 
another way to strengthen your bones is through exercise like running jumping dancing and playing sports and even when you use a skateboard or skates or even if you are playing sports like football or ice hockey or anything always remember that you wear all the right kind of things like wearing gears and all that and always remember that you should wear all such things while playing sports to take care of your bones because if you will not take care they will be pro they will broke down or sorry they will break and what will happen these broken bones can then eventually heal but it takes a very long time right to heal and that is why we should take care of them right so these are some of the steps which we should keep in mind right and we should take care of our bones and our skeletal system so i hope that you enjoyed this session and learned about the different types of joints which are present in our skeletal system or which are present in our body right so we will meet in the next session with yes with a new system new means another system right till then keep learning keep enjoying thank you children